I am seven months pregnant and at five months I went in for a routine ultrasound. They found out that I can't make it through it already. <laughs> that the baby's umbilical cord only had one artery and one vein. And it was supposed to have two arteries and one vein, so they said that it could cause growth restriction, which wouldn't necessarily cause him any problems, but he could be born really, really small. And worst case scenario, he wouldn't make it. But she said that that rarely happens. So we went back the next week and my fluid was five, so it was really low. And I was already starting to panic and worry because I've had a miscarriage in the past. <laughs> and I knew that my health issues were gonna cause problems with him because I have a heart condition and I have a high blood pressure and I've had precancerous cells in my cervix before, so I knew it was gonna be a hard pregnancy anyway. <laughs> and I came to the healing service and went up and had prayer for him on the next ultrasound appointment. Nothing had changed. My fluid was six at this time, so everything was still not looking really good. And I have to go back every, twice a week for ultrasounds. And the next ultrasound I went to, took a really, really long time and I was starting to kind of panic. And she told me that he had two arteries and one vein. So his umbilical cord was now a three vessel cord. And at my last ultrasound last week, my fluid level was up to 10 and stay in between 10 and 11. So God healed me and the baby at the healing service.